friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're finding me for the very first time, my name is Jen and I make videos on all things curvy fashion and just easy style for real life. So if you're interested in that, I would love for you to click subscribe, stick around, join the community here. And today I'm gonna to be rounding up and recapping some of my favorite things. I don't think I've done a favorites video for a while. So I have a handful of things to share that have either been making my life easier, bringing me joy, or just things that I think you might love. So we're gonna take a deeper dive into those but if there's anything you see in the video that you want to shop, just go down to the description box in the video and you can shop the links there. Super easy. I will have my LTK linked there. If you're not familiar with LTK, it's a free shopping app and it's basically where people like me who create shoppable content house all of our virtual stuff, so to speak. So anything I ever talk about or share, you can always go find it on LTK. Following me there is one of the easiest and best ways to just stay connected to what I've linked to and anything that I've talked about in the past that you might want to look at um, or be reminded of. So all of that will be linked below. Let's jump into the favorites. And before I start rattling off things about the products, I have to say happy spooky season to those who love and enjoy it as much as I do because we are full into bats and skeletons and whole nine yards. So if that's you too, our time is here. Um, anyway, so getting into products. I love the brand Beauty Bio. I've been using it for quite a while. I think I've talked about them here before. I don't have a relationship with them. I don't have discount codes. They don't sponsor me, anything like that. So this is really just me talking to you about things that I think are fantastic. These are the Zen Bubble Oil-Free Calming Gel Cream and the Eyeliner Concentrate. So this is an eye product. This is a moisturizer. And these things, I feel like, do what they say they're going to do. This moisturizer hydrates my skin without it feeling sticky or greasy. It calms the redness. Um, I feel like before I go to bed, like it just makes everything feel like my skin can get kind of irritated. It's kind of sensitive and I feel like it just takes all that down a notch. And then same thing before I put my makeup on, I feel like it just gives me a really great base to work with and gives me the moisture that I'm looking for, but it doesn't do anything to make me feel more oily because I'm still kind of a combo skin type. So I love this. And then this right here, I don't know what kind of mystery magic voodoo is going on in this product, but I have like a screenshot like before and after that I took because I was talking about about this on Instagram stories. And um, to me, like this is the only eye product I've ever used where I feel like I could actually see a difference. I feel like most of the time I'm putting an eye product on, hoping that over time something might change and then it feels like it never does. But this, you have to put it on. And when you put it on, you're gonna feel like it's not soaking in. You're gonna feel it like it's sitting on top of the skin, not going anywhere, but it is. You have to give it some time. And as it sinks down into the skin and as it sits on the skin, like you're gonna realize like, whoa, wait a minute, like something is different here. And so when I did the side by side, I was like, dang, that's even more noticeable than I realized. Depuffing, brightening, tightening. I, I don't know. This is, this is worth what it costs to me. These are not super cheap, but I feel like they are worth the investment. Now along that same line of products that are in a higher price point, unfortunately, but also do a really good job. <laughs> um, my favorite foundation, Lancome Taunt Adult Ultra Wear. This is so good. Um, it does have SPF in it. And I think what I like the most about this is that I still get a really beautiful coverage, a really beautiful finish, but it does not feel heavy. There's nothing about this that feels heavy or cakey. One pump is plenty to get the job done. You could build it beyond that, but I really don't feel like I ever need to. And I'm on camera, you know, all day, every day for my job. So I need something that looks really nice. I need something that's going to smooth and even everything out. But the older I get, my skin cannot handle a heavy full coverage foundation. I used to only wear like heavy full coverage. And now it's just not something that I feel like looks good on me. So this gives me the coverage and the finish that I need. Um, but it's still lightweight. I don't know how to explain what they're doing with this, but it's just so good. I can't recommend it enough. It does have a hefty price tag when it's not on any kind of sale or deal, but listen, I will be buying this and repurchasing this on my own with my own dollars. And I've had, I've had this for quite a while. Um, again, that's one of those where I got this in a random PR box. I don't really ever work with Lancome on a consistent basis. Like they don't ever pay me. Um, this was just came in a free mailer box. So, but it ended up being a standout. It's ended up being a favorite. Um, I now own it in multiple shades. And so if you're looking for something that has beautiful finish and coverage, but still feels incredibly light on the skin, I think you would really like this. I tend to use clear hair elastics a lot when I'm doing like low ponytails and buns and stuff like that, just so that you can't really see anything. Um, and I 
been such a fan. I have repurchased multiple times these Kitsch uh, No Snag Elastics. I just grabbed them at Ulta and I have found that these hold up the best out of any others in my hair. I have a thicker hair texture. It's pretty coarse. Um, and so a lot of times I have had issues with, you know, different brands kind of busting on me in the middle of the day. I remember one time I was sitting in a presentation or like some kind of, I don't know, somebody was speaking. And so I was at work and I was in this like auditorium full of people listening to this person speak and my hair, I kind of had it pulled over kind of like a messy low bun and I had used some clear elastics and I remember hearing this little pop. <laughs> No, because you know, if you have your hair over here, like in a messy side bun, it looks really cute like that. But then when it comes out, it looks like you stuck your finger in a light socket. And so I just remember thinking like, maybe if I don't move, it'll stay long enough to get through this person speaking and then I can get up and figure out what to do next. So I have not had that happen with these. These are really just sturdy and durable. And I know that's such a simple thing, but when you find something good, you gotta let other people know. So I love them. I've got a few jewelry favorites to share that are all really affordable and they are things I've been wearing on repeat and just really liking to go with like all my everyday outfits. So first up is this really cute little bracelet. It's got a T on one side and then if you flip it over it has a heart and both are in just little pave crystals and then you've got just these really simple gold balls and then there's an extender here so this is gonna work for a lot of different wrist sizes I can't remember if this also comes in silver or not I'm not sure I don't want to tell you that it does if it doesn't but what I will say about this the quality is surprisingly good like when I get stuff from Amazon I kind of feel like you know it's here for a good time not necessarily a long time but I was wearing this out yesterday running errands when it was well over 90 degrees and I was running around I was sweating trying to get like checked out and I did not have any green on my wrist so that's pretty impressive for just an inexpensive little Amazon bracelet so love this also until I love anything that has like a little initial or personalization also an Amazon find just a cute little crystal tea and these do for sure come in silver or gold they are very affordable really cute could make a great gift so if you need a great holiday gift um really any occasion gift birthdays whatever those are really awesome. And then these gold hoops are from Target. They're just inexpensive, but they're textured. So that's really fun. I wear a gold hoop almost every single day. And these have been a go-to lately because they just add a little something different than like a traditional gold hoop, but they're a great size. They're very lightweight. These are not heavy at all. And you know, just a little extra pizzazz, but nothing fancy. All right, let's talk about some really good boots because I know this is the time of year where everybody kind of starts looking for new ones um, and these are standouts to me. I was actually given these by Lane Bryant as part of a really big campaign that I did for them for fall fashion. Um, so these weren't given to me like for the purposes of coming on YouTube and talking about them, but after I photographed them and did, you know, all the videos and all the stuff they were kind of paying me to do and create for them, um, you know, I get to keep this stuff. So I kind of get to then put it to the test and go like, you know, is it, is it good enough that I'm going to keep it in my closet and like love it and use it? And it's a yes on both of these. So I love their Chelsea boots already. I have them in black. The cognac equally as good. So comfortable. And for those of us who have not just sturdy calves, but sturdy ankles, these will both go on just fine. Um, I was a little worried, honestly, about these because that side cut out, I was like, man, I don't know. I'm not sure what these are going to look like. And they're great. These look like they should really hurt your feet honestly they don't they are so comfortable they have just kind of a fun like stitching detail and they're a beautiful boot the toe box actually has a lot of room so I don't find that they pinch so either way you go whether you're looking for something really sleek or looking for something a little more chunky like the Chelsea boot these are a 10 out of 10 and I do go up a size to a 12 so they're extra comfy and I can wear them with socks without a doubt one of the softest most comfortable things I've had on my body recently is this little top from Maurice's. So this is one of their 24-7 tees. Um, the 24-7 line has like tunic tees and um, these kind of like more dolman sleeve. Like they have a bunch within the 24-7 range at Maurice's and they do go on sale pretty often, which is nice. But this has more of like a, a dolman sleeve and then like a little bit of a shark bite, like nothing extreme. It has some side slits, um, but it's just incredibly soft, flowy, comfortable. This is a 2X and it has a ton of room. So I think, you know, anybody but he could easily size down one on these and these typically go up to a 4x so um, if you are let's say a 26 28 you could probably do a 3x in this 
Um, and if you're more like, you know, around a size 30, try the 4X and I think you'd still be very comfortable. A great stretchy sleeve. I don't find them to be tight or constricting. So, um, you know, this is again, one of those where it's like, eh, this is not anything like super fancy, you know, bells and whistles here, but it's incredibly soft and comfortable. So if you're looking for something like that to hang out in this fall, I think you'll definitely love this. I already mentioned these pants in my um, workwear video that I did for Dream Pairs. Um, and that video, I just styled nothing but workwear looks. And so these are great for workwear, but I feel like these would be good for whenever. Like you could wear them out on the weekend, running errands. You could, um, they'd be great, you know, for teachers to wear to school. Um, they're just a great little casual pant. And I love this color. I told you guys corduroy is having a moment again. Um, they have like a little bit of a flare at the bottom. They are a crop, but I will tell you guys, I'm a little over five, seven, and I feel like they're barely crop on me. They are not super cropped on me. And so if you're petite, I think they are going to be a full length pant for you. But if you're 5'8", five, 5'9", five, they may look like a like a real true crop on you. Um, so it may be worth giving them a try. If you're over 5'9", I don't know, maybe a little tricky. You may end up feeling like they're a little too short. But I feel like if you are, you know, average 5'6", five, 5'7", five, these are going to be a very subtle crop. If you're a little bit taller, they'll be more of a true crop. And then if you're petite, they're going to be a pant, but extremely cute, comfortable, true to size, dress up, dress down, beautiful color. Didn't expect to love these as much as I do, but I am here to recommend them and say, I think they're great. All right, let's get into some spooky stuff. I am such a fan for Halloween. I love ghosts. So I got this little guy at Walmart recently. I'm pretty sure he's still available. I will link him down below. It's a jar, so you can obviously, I don't have anything in here currently, and I don't know if I'll put anything in here, but it is a jar, so you could definitely put something in here if you wanted to. Um, they also, they always do these cute little throw pillows with the palms. I'm now up to three of these, which is ridiculous, but whatever, they bring me joy. Um, so both of these are super affordable from Walmart. And then one more thing that is new to me this year, um, is this really cozy blanket. So this is from the Styled Collection brand and it is reversible. So you've got black and white or white and black and it is so soft. It is incredibly soft. It feels like the super duper expensive blanket, but it's not as expensive as those. I think if you are someone who is obsessed with collecting little ghosties like I am, then you would love this or you could gift it to somebody. I mean, I don't really want anyone to touch this blanket. They do. Um, usually I try to take it before the kids can get their hands on it. All right, so that is everything that has been making my life a little bit easier or just bringing me a little extra joy lately. If there's something that's been doing that for you, let us all know down in the comments what it is. Maybe we can fill the comments up with just things that have been making us extra happy lately and we can share them with each other. But I hope you guys have a great start to your month. Everything will be linked so you can shop it down below. If you have questions about anything, of course, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.